Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to show you how to attach some different accessories to the Dremel 402 Mandrel. And this is it right here. And we'll get a closer look at that in just a minute. Um, I'm going to show you how to attach the Dremel. Um, this is the Dremel uh, fiberglass reinforced cutoff wheel. And then this here is the Dremel aluminum oxide grinding wheel. Um, and the item number on this one is uh, Dremel 426, and the item number on this one is Dremel 541. But I'll show you uh, how to install those um, onto the Dremel 402 Mandrel, and then I'll demonstrate how you install the Dremel 402 Mandrel into my Dremel 8220. Um, and I'll take you through that step by step. But before you begin ever using your Dremel tool, make sure that you've read through the operating and safety instructions for your Dremel tool. This will tell you everything you need to know on how to use your Dremel tool both safely and properly. Also make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment. For this demonstration, I have on a pair of nitrile gloves and safety goggles. And also make sure that you take all safety precautions. Now, also at the end of this video, I'm going to link, I have other Dremel videos on the accessories and attachments, and I'm going to link those videos in a playlist at the end of this video. So if you're interested and want to learn more about the Dremel accessories and attachments, please check that playlist out. Okay, so um, now we're going to take a closer look at the Dremel 402 Mandrel um, and how we're going to attach both of these accessories to this Dremel 402 Mandrel. Okay, so the Dremel 402 Mandrel, on the top here, um, there's a screw. It's a flathead screw. And you can use the wrench tool here on the back side. There's the flathead screwdriver. And you can use that to get it started, um, like if it's all the way down. Uh, like this you can use the flat head screwdriver part to get it started but then once you get it started a little bit you should be able to uh, just twist it off by hand here like so and then we'll put the screw down there you don't want to lose that um, you know that's an important piece for the Dremel uh, 402 mandrel and I'll start by showing you the cutoff wheel here um, I'm going to take the screw and put it through the top of the cutoff wheel like so and then put it back into the mandrel like this. And then, oops, uh, we'll get this tightened uh, down as much as we can by hand. And then we'll tighten it all the way down with the um, uh, Dremel wrench tool here. So I've gotten it as far as I can get it by hand. Um, and then now I'm tightening it with the Dremel wrench tool. And you do want to make sure that that's on there tight all the way. And then this is what it looks like here. Um, and then I'm going to take this one off now. Um, get it started here with the wrench tool. And then kind of using my hand to help uh, twist that out. And then I'll show you on the uh, grinding wheel here. This is the aluminum oxide grinding wheel. Same thing, we're going to take the screw and put it through the uh, Dremel alumina, aluminum oxide grinding wheel. And then we're going to put that into the uh, bottom of the mandrel like this and we'll tighten it down as much as we can by hand. Um, like so. And then I'm going to use the wrench tool, uh, the flathead screwdriver side of it uh, to get that all the way tight. Uh, like so. And that's what this one looks like here. So um, now let me show you on uh, my Dremel 8220. Um, I'm going to get a better view here in just a second, but I'm going to show you how we attach this uh, to the Dremel 8220. And um, before you ever install or remove an accessory or an attachment to your Dremel tool, you need to make sure that it's both off and unplugged. And if you have a cordless model um, that has a battery in it, if the battery is removable, make sure that you remove the battery. Okay, so let me get a better view of the Dremel tool here and I'll show you how we now install the Dremel 402 Mandrel. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make sure that the Dremel tool is off 
And then this, uh, the Dremel 8220 has a removable battery. So I'm going to uh, press in on the sides of the battery here and then take the battery out. And I'm just going to set that off to the side. Um, and now we can install uh, the Dremel 402 mandrel. So um, to do this, the first thing that we're going to do is, there, there's a couple options here. Um, we can use the wrench tool or we can use the easy twist nose cap um, to loosen up the collet nut here so we can put the, the Dremel 402 mandrel in. Um, I have a video showing you how to use um, the Dremel easy twist nose cap and for this demonstration, I'm not going to do that. Um, but if you do want to uh, you know, learn about how to use this, I'm going to link all of my uh, Dremel videos in a playlist at the end of this video. And if you're interested and have time and wanna learn more about your Dremel, please check that playlist out. Okay, so I'm going to hold down the blue lock button here and this will lock the collet into place. Um, the collet nut into place. So then you can use the wrench tool here to loosen up the collet nut. And I'm just going to loosen this up. And then once you get it going a little, um, you can use your hand here to get it, um, you know, loosened up to where you can put the Dremel 402 mandrel in. And we need to loosen it up a little bit more. And then uh, once you can, you can put the Dremel 402 mandrel in. And you wanna make sure that you put it down in there all the way, as far down as it can go. Um, and then you're gonna to continue to hold on to the lock button. Um, and then you're going to start to tighten up the collet nut until we get that hand tight here. And then I'm going to use the wrench tool here uh, to come in here and get the collet nut all the way tight like so. Um, so now the Dremel 402 mandrel um, with the um, Dremel aluminum oxide grinding wheel are installed into my Dremel 8220. And now I'm just going to reinstall the battery. Um, I'll just put that back in here like so. All right, guys, well, that was it. Um, you know, I hope this video was helpful. I do have a lot of other Dremel videos, and I'm going to link those videos in a playlist at the end of this video. Um, and if you're interested and you have time and you want to learn more about the, the Dremel accessories uh, and attachments and the Dremel tool, uh, please check that playlist out. And thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.